All right, guys, so I still got to read Star Wars Legacy number eight. The eight, or the ocho, whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, really good book. I'm really enjoying it, and it's a little... I mean, it's exciting, and I really like the characters, and I like what they're doing with them, but I feel like it's getting a little slower, and maybe I'm just kind of, like, not as stoked on it, but I do like the story. I want to see it go, like, really cool places and be really awesome, and it was in this issue. You kind of realize that, oh, man, these Sith are really doing some messed up stuff. Uh, it's, it's totally messed up, um, and a certain planet is totally poisoned and it, it's actually kind of cool I, I didn't know this happened at any point in the story and the fact that it's in the future kind of makes sense it's like oh, okay so a lot of it happened um but i like what they what they did with it because it's two very important races to the star wars universe um and they're pretty much screwed and they're they're just screwed in general and these two people are pretty much going to save them it seems like hope so some dude shows up though that looks like the most badass sith i've ever seen like, Darth Maul doesn't even look that cool compared to this guy, even though he kind of looks like Darth Maul. But either way, it's awesome. I'm stoked for it. Uh, I will say it did feel a little slower and a little like, Ugh. but you do find out a lot more in this issue. So that was cool. But the lack of enthusiasm that I found in it was, eh. so I'm just going to give it three out of five green skulls.